have a twist dun 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 the world suddenly appeared strange the road had taken a sharp turn and the buildings were looming like those foreboding uncles at a party <laughs> and the wind the trees sang in different tunes and the wind which was just right beside me now seem to snarl run away little kid you don't belong here i had broken down into a jog then a walk then a complete halt looking around for some signs of life some familiar signs of life a, a, a landmark a, a tree a stone anything that would tell me that i was safe but i could find nothing and so i stood there unrooted all of a sudden paralyzed not knowing what to do i could feel those childish sobs break into my eyes and you know that lump in your throat i could feel it make itself comfortable and i don't know how long i stood there but i knew that if i'd stayed a little more longer i'd turn into a complete overflowing watering pot but then i heard your voice carrying itself across the air hey somya you must have seen my panic stricken face because you didn't scold me you chuckled and good naturedly led me to the side of the road towards a hand pump and you said remember this this is where you turn left remember that gate that's where we walk straight ahead from remember that boundary wall that's the edge of where we live i remember walking home after that slowly taking in everything around us the world no longer a blur i remember you telling me to find things to make familiar 
So they become flag points. Hand pump, rusted gate, boundary wall, post box, signposts, twinkling stars that would guide me back home. Hand pump, rusted gate, boundary wall, post box. I remember it. I remembered it. Dear Appa, I am thinking of you today because I have forgotten all of this. The world has become too fast for me. Time picked up her bags and fled away one day and I have run after her blindly, escaping the past, escaping the landmarks, escaping the gleeful child I once was, escaping you. You who had polished my shoes and tied my shoelaces to keep my feet secure. I have run hard and clumsily, dropping invisible parts of myself because they were too heavy or inconvenient. I have run, destroying this body, my knees buckle, my feet pain, my back creaks, my lungs heave, the wind finally knocked out of them. I have run directionless and arrived here, here. The trees are made of glass here and they belch out smoke in the night. The path is cleared every day, so if you drop breadcrumbs, they disappear, vanish. I am trying to find something familiar, I really am, but there are only nameless, faceless travelers here, only a haze that chokes all thought, only a blank slate instead of the night sky where we used to play connect the dots with our guiding stars. There is nothing more I fear than a blank slate. Dear Appa, I am thinking of you today because I know you are not able to find me. To call out to me, your legs are too swollen, your lungs are filled with fluid, your voice is strained and heavy. I know you are as lost as I am. Perhaps I've always been. I know you're looking for the daughter you were familiar with to help guide yourself to some semblance of home. Dear Appa, remember we used to sit and solve puzzles all of Sunday morning until Amma told us, snapped at us and told us to clear the lunch table. I am thinking about you today because I am sitting, stewing in this puzzle, trying to solve this impossible conundrum. There are too many variables, too many equations, too many red herrings, and God damn it, too many illogical segues. It's going to take a little while. A little more time. But I'll figure out, as I always do. I'll find the signposts and I'll come home. Pakka. Hand pump. Rusted gate. Boundary wall. Post box.